I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. Do you think your paper has the resources to take that on? I do. Do you? The Boston priest molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. We haven't committed any long-term investigative resources to the case. No, we haven't. And that's the kind of thing your team would do. Spotlight. Guys, listen. Everybody's going to be interested in this. Obviously, the church will fight us very hard. I'm trying to get some background information. I don't want you recording this in any way, shape, or form. Nothing. We understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. When you're a poor kid from a poor family, and when a priest pays attention to you, it's a big deal. How do you say no to God? Spotlight. This is the tip line. You think he's got something? I want to keep digging. Show me that it came from the top down. Try to silence anyone who speaks out. You leave me alone, you hear me, goddammit? 6% act out sexually. 6% is 90. 90 priests. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. You're going to give me the names and the names of their victims. Are you threatening me? I am here because I care. We're going to tell this story. We're going to tell it right. I'm hoping we can keep this between us until we all get on the same page. Is that why we're here, to get on the same page? We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy, and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. This is not just Boston. This is a whole country. It's a whole world. They knew, and they let it happen. It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. Yeah.